Being a student for almost 9 to 10 years, you must have formed the habit of studying your lessons and accomplishing the school task to pass each grade level. Along the way, you got to test what works for you and what's not. It is important for you to be mindful of those patterns that bring you to your academic goals for the school year while try to get rid of those proven to be bad for your school performance. Hence, we want to bring to your attention the faulty study habits that you might still have in the hope of changing it with a helpful one. Here are the 9 faulty or bad study habits to avoid. Number 1. Studying for the sake of doing it. When was the last time you asked yourself, why am I studying? What do I intend to gain from it? Good grades, a good job later, personal fulfillment, or acceptance in college? You have to clarify your intention or even your motivation because if you cannot see the point in studying, it will only make it boring and tedious. If your intention is clear, then studying can be meaningful for you. In times of crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic where you have to stay at home, you may find it difficult to study given the circumstances of doing household chores or being surrounded by siblings who are playing or watching television. Bear in mind that the only way to form a study habit in times of pandemic is to study, study, study in spite of temptations to play, watch television, storytelling, or getting busy with gadgets. Number 2. Studying by impulse Have you experienced doing your homework, reviewing for an exam, and doing your project without analyzing how they should be prioritized and scheduled? If so, then you must have felt overwhelmed, stressed, or anxious how to do it all at the same time. It may be a result of lack of careful planning and assessment of your task to do. It would help if you Try to enumerate the things to do, rank them according to the date of submissions or even the time needed to do it. You may also account for other considerations to strategically sequence your activities. Keep in mind that the clearer your study plan is, the more chances of accomplishing it well without feeling too much anxiety. Number 3. Studying long but still unproductive you need to be mindful what time of the day your mind works well and very receptive to learn. Try to notice yourself when you are at your best reviewing and in doing your project among other activities while also considering the other things like physical setup, deadlines, and health condition. Number 4. Organizing all requirements and tasks before you start doing them. As a junior high school learner, you have a lot of subjects to take. Naturally, your teachers will give you assignments, projects, paperworks, exams, and many more. If you let those things pile up, you are creating a gigantic opponent that will soon knock you out. Once the tasks are given to you, include them in your calendar as part of your schedule on a particular day. Number 5. Dismissing things that you don't understand There are times that teacher asks you, Do you have any questions, class? And everyone would say, None. The truth of the matter is, it's either they just want to end the lesson and do something else or they totally got the lessons. However, there are times that test scores say otherwise. Because you missed that opportunity to clarify or unlock your difficulty, it resulted in a failing score. You have to be particular on the things that you don't understand in a lesson and have the initiative to deal it with your teacher during or even after classes. Asking help from your high-performing classmates would also facilitate your comprehension. Number 6. Having random notes and confusing learning space. Have you experienced writing notes on a random paper or notebook? It is definitely not a good practice for someone who wants their thoughts organized. It will give you difficulties to retrieve your thoughts, your lessons, and add up to your tasks. 
Delegating a certain folder or notebook for each subject will make you segregate and organize the lessons well. It is also important to take notes of the modules or learning kits as you read. Your notes will help you remember the good points you may need during the examinations. Without notes, you will need to reread and review the entire modules before the test. Your notes will help you save time and easily recall the main points. Number 7. Having a crunch time for the exams the next day. You might have experience trying to absorb all the lessons for a long test or even important performance test the next day. It's like you are getting food that are hard to chew. Making it tidbits by setting time to concentrate and focus on certain parts of the test coverage would make your life easier. It pays to be organized and disciplined in carrying out these things. Number 8. Multitasking while studying. It's typical nowadays for some learners like you to go online on social media, watch TV, or even listen to music while studying. For some, they claim that it works for them, but it actually prevents them from being 100% focused. Try to remove distractions from your study area and be mindful of what you're doing. You will get to appreciate the details and even the areas for improvement if you are doing a school project or readings. You will also easily understand the concepts and ideas of the lessons if you turn off your TV, music, social media, or anything that distracts you. Number 9. Repeating the ineffective study habits and mistakes. If you already know that certain actions or behavior do not help you to get good grades, why still do it in grade 10? By now, you can project how the patterns of your action lead you to a certain result. You have to make use of those insights and avoid putting yourself in a problematic situation. Hence, the courage and the willingness to break those ineffective study habits and upgrade the effective ones. Thank you.